A South Carolina woman continues fighting for her life. She got sick with COVID-19 while pregnant. We first brought you this story shortly after she gave birth while sick. Today, her husband spoke with our Julia Kaufman, imploring expecting parents to get the vaccine. Sierra and Jamal Chubb are happily married. Sierra is my best friend. With three young children. She's a phenomenal human being. She believes in grace and forgiveness. They were expecting their third child when she contracted COVID-19. When we tested positive on the 21st, we took her to the hospital on the 24th, um, and she was admitted for a COVID pneumonia. Sierra gave birth to Miles, a healthy baby boy, but was then put on a ventilator. At one point, I was sitting with her bed by her bedside, holding our son Miles and watching Sierra's condition deteriorate, watching her struggle to breathe with my own eyes while I'm holding, holding the future of our family. Jamal says his wife chose not to get vaccinated due to unknown risks for her pregnancy. We kept waiting for instruction about pregnant women to be clear, um, but there hadn't been any clear instruction about it. Uh, so we waited. Now with new data showing vaccines are safe for pregnant women, he's urging others to get the shot so they don't experience what his family is going through. I'm sleeping in my daughter's room in her twin bed every night because she's crying and missing her mom. Um, and I, I don't want this for anyone. I can't stress that enough. I don't want this for anyone. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Please be informed. Please, I'm pleading with you. Do what you need to do to protect your health, the health of your children, and the health of your family. She's a healthy young woman, um, and she should have been um, had a much easier pregnancy than than this. Dr. Helmut Albrecht is one of Sierra's many physicians at Prisma Health working to keep her alive. Women with COVID during pregnancy had a 15 fold, 15 fold higher risk to die. Albrecht says the vaccine is now strongly recommended for pregnant women. There's no fertility issues with the vaccine. There is fertility issues and death issues with COVID. Jamal and Sierra can't turn back time, but hope their story will inspire others to get the shot. Reporting in Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Also today, Jamal shared he is optimistic about his wife's recovery. He says they have a long journey ahead, but are starting to see signs of improvement.